Finally, we've started drilling after all this time and we can get to see this wonderful drilling rig in operation. We took a lot of time and trouble over selecting this rig, both to make sure it was powerful enough to drill these deep holes in these hard rocks, but also importantly to make sure it doesn't make too much noise so that we don't disturb our neighbours and that it'll fit on this site. One of the great things about geothermal is it is 24-7. It doesn't stop. So the power plants that are operating in Europe at the moment, they tend to be operational for 96, 97% of the year. So in terms of some of the issues with the grid as we move forward, geothermal can really help to balance that. This is the sharp end of what's happening on site. We're up on the rig floor, about nine meters above ground level. The machine behind is what will be driving the drill pipe and rotating the bit that will be eventually drilling down to a depth of 4,500 metres. Right now I have a mixture of excitement and worry and a sense of anticipation about what's about to happen. Just on this site, this is 10 years to get to this point and if you go back to the previous hot dry rock programme, it's 30 years since we started wanting to drill a hole like this in Cornwall. So now is a pretty momentous moment for, for me uh, and for the team and for geothermal in Cornwall. So you can imagine these geothermal power plants in many communities where we're supplying both electricity and we're supplying heat to a local network. And I think that's a big part of the future. So once this one is finished, we hope we'll be rolling out many others to other places, not just in Devon and Cornwall, but across the country and across the world.